afternoon, good evening and good morning to all you people out there in the gaming community. It is Lady Sinister bringing you my last ever gameplay on Black Ops 2 and a commentary about what I think about Black Ops 2, my expectations for Ghost and a quick channel update. Now in my opinion Black Ops 2 made bad players seem like gods and good players want to pick up their controls, throw it through their TV, pick up their PS3 or Xbox, chuck it out the window and smash it to smithereens. Uh, Black Ops 2 is the most frustrating game I think I have ever played in my entire life. If you were a bitch player and sat in the corner with a target finder LMG or ran around with an OP shotgun pistol or sniper or just generally ran around with a knife then you were amazing at this game because the tide of bullshit was absolutely crazy in Black Ops 2. For example the fact that um, if you ran around with a knife you somehow had the matrix effect and bullets did not affect you and you were able to run with super lightning speed and run through bullets and knife somebody. That is what I'm talking about of the tide of bullshit in Black Ops 2. Um, if you were a good player it was like you were that salmon swimming upstream against the tide of bullshit. It, you know it just made me so despondent every time I put in my disc for Black Ops 2 especially these last couple of months. I was so despondent. I was really depressed. All I wanted to do when I was in the match was lie down and just let people shoot me. Me and my soldier we were very very depressed. So, you know, that's how Black Ops 2 made me feel. Um, I just absolutely hated it. Was it frustrating when anybody was like, oh, come play Black Ops 2. I was like, oh, do I have to? Being a bit like Kevin, like, oh, oh you're so horrible. Um, like a stroppy teenager. So, yeah, I hated Black Ops 2. Just, no, 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 no. There was just so much tired of, uh, like, tired away from bullshit in the game. It was just absolutely crazy. The fact that you could shoot someone, they could run away and regen. It was so easy to get high score streaks. Um, and I found myself playing hardcore because court was just ridiculous. It was full of absolute bullshit. Jump shot and drop shot and ridiculousness. So, um... Black Ops 2, in my opinion, was absolute online. shit. I know other people have done the whole breaking the disc thing. I'm not going to do that because I actually think Treyarch does zombies really well and I enjoy zombies. So I'm going to be keeping my disc purely for the zombies because we will not be getting another zombie game for another year. Yes, there's aliens, blah, blah, blah. Aliens been there, done that, got the t-shirt time and time again, do something original. Aliens are not going to invade. Zombie apocalypse on the other hand is a very likely thing that could happen with medical technology the way it's going. But anyway, that's a, that's a commentary for another day my, about my opinion between alien invasion and zombie apocalypse. So we'll do that on another commentary. Yeah, um, so yeah. In my opinion, Black Ops 2, absolute shit, worst game ever, and the worst year ever on Call of Duty series. So, I'm so glad the era of Black Ops 2 is over. 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 Uh, my expectations for Ghost, they're not that high, to be honest, because... Um, Everybody, the consensus for people who have got it early is kind of so-so. Um, some are saying it's just as bad as Black Ops 2. Some are saying, oh, well, it's better than Black Ops 2. Nobody is actually saying it's amazing you unless confirm. you're <coughs> allié. So, oh, what? <coughs> to mine. Um, so, yeah, ATR nobody is inbound. saying that um, Ghost <laughs> is amazing. So... I'm not holding out much hope for Ghost. Um, I will not be going into any midnight in releases because I just don't do that kind of stuff. So in while you're up. freezing your asses off tonight in a queue, I'll in be sleeping in up, my nice, up. warm, comfy bed all curled up in my quilt. So in remember that when you're freezing your asses off. <laughs> I'll be getting um, Ghost in the morning when all the shops open. 
and I will be doing a live commentary about um, my first game on Ghost, so you'll be able to ha hear my reaction firsthand about Ghost. So I will have that up for you tomorrow as soon as I get the game. So um, I've heard that Ghost is a bit like um, Modern Warfare 2 in the sense of deaths which is kind of like hardcore, which is fine by me because I'm a hardcore player. So the death seems great. Um, yeah, quick soaping is still in Ghost, um, but hopefully we can do something to counteract that. Um, I've heard that sit-up rep is, um, is OP, but that's great because you won't have no bullshit of someone running around with a knife and be able to sneak up behind you. So, but I did, you know, I did hear it was a bit OP and annoying because all you're going to hear is footsteps all over the place. So even if you haven't got ghost or off the grid on, then people are just going to hear you echoing everywhere. Um, but I'm keeping my opinions open about ghost until I've actually played it. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm keeping my opinions open. I'm staying neutral with Ghost. I'm hoping that it's better than Black Ops 2, but let's face it, Modern Warfare 3 was crap, um, Black Ops 2 was crap, so the consensus right now is that it's Ghost is going inbound. to be crap. But we'll see. We'll see what happens um, tomorrow when I have a game, see if my opinion changes. Um, we'll we'll see how night. it goes. I, I think Ghost has great maps. It looks great. So I can't wait to play in all 1080p gloriness in um, on PlayStation 4. So that that sounds like it's going to be awesome, and the maps look awesome. And hopefully, Infinity Ward is not going to be like Treyarch and reskin maps from Modern Warfare 3. And hopefully, the DLCs will be worth the money. So hopefully, we have a better year on Call of Duty. But I'm keeping my opinions open. Um, try not to take on board too much about what other people say and just judge the game for itself tomorrow um, So yeah, we'll we'll see what happens tomorrow. See if my opinion changes um, Right last thing is a channel update. I have a new laptop because my old laptop was crappy crap crap um, so now I'll be able to do a lot more live commentaries. I don't know whether I'm going to do a road to command thing on Ghost. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing a lot more Let's Plays and everything else. So that's going to be great. Um, my first ever Let's Play will be Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag. I know it's on the PS3 right now, but I am saving it for the PS4. And the PS4 doesn't come out in Europe until the 29th of November. So I'm going to have to wait till then. But th my first Let's Play will be Black Flag, which is going to be awesome. So, yeah, that will be my first Let's Play. Um, so I'll be doing a lot more of them. I'll be doing a lot more live commentaries. Probably bouncing between Battlefield 4 and um, Call of Duty Ghost. But if there are any other games that come out that, uh, you know, uh, that I fancy playing, I'll be doing a lot more let's play from now on so generally you'll be seeing a lot more different games and battlefield 4 and call of duty and once i get the ps4 i will also be live streaming on twitch so that that all will be great um hopefully i can still record and do recordings when the ps4 comes out but yeah so that's my channel update and that's my commentary uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you hear and I am looking forward to the beginnings of Ghost. Goodbye Black Ops 2 and thank you guys for listening. Bye bye.